Oh, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cabin Matter Bowling Club for the final of the ladies singles major major final. So today we've got a massive game between Karen Murphy and Carmen Anderson, two veterans of the game. It's going to be certainly one one game to watch and it should be a blast to see how this game pans out. So today I'm your commentator, Aaron Disco Wilson. So looking forward to bringing you the action. Um, and any questions you may have, just whack them in and uh, we'll get on to that too. But uh, very excited about today. Green conditions today, probably running 16, 17 seconds, tied by the green keepers. Um, stunning day for it, but uh, a little bit of breeze popping up, which make it a little bit more difficult for the players, but uh, not too bad this day. So hopefully that keeps away from, uh, from the greens and uh, be a really good show down here. But, uh, just a fraction unlucky with that one. Up here in a beautiful Sydney, just lurking around 31 degrees, a little bit warm out there for the players. Don't think it'll phase them too much though. And Carmen, good responses early. Change hand for Carmen, early pace at the end, but uh, uh, looking, looking very good for another shot. So it could be, could be very well four shots to Carmen Anderson on the, on the very first end. So a big bowl to start with Karen Murphy to get out of this one nice and early. Falling under the head, not quite finding the pace that end, but uh, see what the count will be. And we'll be forward to Carmen Anderson to start this match off. So introducing our other co-commentator today, we've got Bailey Metai, our bowls 
manager at Cabramatta. Does a fantastic job. Welcome to the uh, the commentary team, mate. Oh, thank you, Aaron. Thanks for having me. Who's your pick of the day? If you had to choose one nice I know Carmen's just got a four, but uh, who's going to be your, uh, your well, pick at the moment? We're going off the first end. It would be it'd be Carmen, but both players have uh, have excelled in over their careers and should be a really good game. Just going through the careers, we might just have a look at uh, a few of their uh, little top points. The old technology factor these days, we can show you online. So, first off with Karen Murphy, Commonwealth Games gold and, and world gold medalist. So, really impressive, impressive resume with, with Karen Murphy, a uh, member of the Order of Australia, I believe inducted a couple of years ago. Started bowls at 11, nice and young, and 668 appearances for Australia, which is amazing. The highest cap of all time, I believe. We'll go over to Carmen Anderson. Carmen, international representative for Norfolk Island on numerous occasions for Commonwealth Games and World Bowls. She is also a Order of Australia medalist, AM. World Bowls gold medalist, and one of the most successful female bowlers in the sport. And that pretty mouth-watering sort of resumes between both of those and both representing their countries. Obviously, Kaz for Australia and uh, Carmen for Norfolk Island. And I could be uh, could be wrong here, but I think they Carmen won a, their first medal for Norfolk Island back in 1994. So it was a big, big achievement from from Carmen getting them on the map early. Karen just getting a little bit of the jack there. And today we looked after local legend George Jamison. Been in Cabramatta for many, many years. Many championships in his own right, in zone and state. But, uh, he's looking after the duties today with the marking. Pretty good fly there from Carmen. Just got your message, uh, Fiona, and um, yep, she will be playing the multi nations uh, next week, represent Norfolk Island. Back again with the squadron, and uh, that should be a very, very fierce competition. That one that's just another great bowl there from Carmen, just missing, missing Kaz's bowls at the front and drawing another shot. Certainly got the pressure on nice and early. Asking all the right questions. Holding holding two. Is Kaz going big? She is. Nice aggressive shot. She's got the jack. Has it gone out? Nope, still in. And that was one shot to Karen Murphy. 
nice to be settling well after that. Get out of the trouble there and uh, could potentially have been 6 six zero against her and uh, back on the board, 1-4. Uh, nice, nice shot by Karen Murphy. And if you like what you see guys, make sure to share the, uh, the post, the video, so others can watch it as well. And world-class quality game. I like the page at uh, Cabramatta if you want any sort of updates on, on the club stuff and uh, and games when they come come across. But uh, obviously today with a couple of ripping games with uh, with our final of the lady singles and our semi-finals in the, in the men's singles. So a couple of good riveting games today. opening bowl there from Karen. Out here, isn't it, Aaron? Yeah, it's always when uh, the bowl starts, just uh, and it was nice and calm, perfect conditions probably half an hour ago. All of a sudden, a bit of breeze pops up and uh, it'll make it more difficult for the players. Being as experienced as they are, they don't think we'll travel them too much, but uh, always a factor on, on, on the greens. Three in the head and one at the back. So we'll be three to Karen. So it puts a score back to, to four shots apiece. And of course it is 25 shots up here in New South Wales.
want to see everyone's opinion on who who their thoughts are who's going to win this so you know, if you got any comments to who do you reckon's going to win post them below the closest or the winner might just get a sneaky surprise from kevin matter what might be a little cloth i don't know i'll have to talk to our bowls manager what we can uh, provide there but uh <clears throat> but now put your comments in to see uh well your choice on who's going to win this game we got to see who's who's got the support and uh at the moment, 25-20. Karen in a close match. Whoa. Three votes for Karen so far. Aaron? Three to current at the moment, so big end and big end early on. Pressure on Carmen. Just got the gap. by a marker George Jemison through to Karen should be quite happy with this overall I might poke one behind with Carrot with uh, with Carmen three bit of danger for her there but uh, it's, it's another one anyway so four shots to uh, to Karen Murphy here this is a big one Carmen get out of this could potentially Trail the jack herself for four. Didn't quite have the weight. I'd be a little bit disappointed with that. And everything to, to reach for a couple landing shots and trail that jack you're a big number yourself but uh, could be a, a big end for Karen Murphy here and it will be four shots to Karen Karen Murphy there very good in a bowl so it's Eight, eight, four. A couple of cricket scores in there, but uh, nice end by Karen. Good afternoon, Andrew. Lovely to have you on board. Hopefully, you enjoy the coverage and uh, any fun comments, mate. Send them through. Another one on the board, old Matty Moles, one of the greatest 
leaders in the history of uh, lawn bowls. Lead for the state, Matthew Miles. Enjoy the coverage today. Good to have you on board as well, mate. Um, appreciate love, Blake. It's um, certainly be a thrilling game ahead, but uh, don't think I'm in the legend category. But uh, they, these two are certainly in that boat. But uh, yeah, monstrous game here. Old Corey, look at his work. Oh, love, love to see that uh, you're, you're still working hard today, Corey, on, on your phone. But um, we appreciate your uh, your support with the coverage and. Uh, no, don't don't work yourself too hard. It's a little bit toasty out there, so you know, make sure you keep very very hydrated. A couple of waters, Corey. Another one of our superstars joining, Lindsay Clark. We're heading off to Multinations with us next week as well. Should be a very, very, uh, very tough and very good week though. close one to Carmen so what's the score out eight shots to five in favor of Karen Murphy at the moment opening bowl there by Carmen.
Tazy just commenting, the green looks, green looks pretty good. We do have a sensational green keeping team here, led by Ben Moorthorpe. Yeah, we'll see him in action a bit later on, but uh, no, nah, fantastic job here with the surrounds, greens. Um, not running 20 seconds, but nice 17 seconds for the players today. Just just a casual 17, but uh, no, nah, he's in perfect condition. Both sides turning quite well. Uh, a bit tricky with the wind. It's just coming across from the right. Is that the North, North Aaron or...? from the northwest actually. Bringing all the sunshine from Queensland here with that hot weather. Just, just a casual 30, 30 today, Cabra Manor. But no, both ladies finding their range now. Starting to get the groove. starting to get a bit of a crowd forming along the sideline so if you're in the area or want to pop in come on down and watch a fantastic singles final Carmen. We might see the old, uh, the big, the big whack at it at the moment. I don't think it should be too short on this one. A lot of good results through the head. Uh, nice and positive on this one. No, control weight. Missing, but very good attempt. Attempt by Karen. The old Bravi Tees. Um, semi finals on tonight, six o'clock. We'll have two semis tonight with Michael Fasalo taking on Carl Hilly in one semi final and Benjamin John Moorthorpe taking on. Bowie Bishop Bredo. It's going to be a cracking afternoon of bowls. Good opening bowl there from, from Karen. Yeah, it was good today too. Got to chat with the players, see what bowls they're using. Uh, both both players using Dream on XGs from Henselite. 
Carmen using a size 2 and Karen using a size 3 with the XG brand. Good end of bowls here. Big one here from, from Karen. Carmen holding three seconds, although she is down. Karen would like to get another bowl in the head here. Might have helped. Well, Carmen goes and has a look at the head. 7th of April, we have a Easter raffle valued at $500. Tickets go on sale from 6 p.m. and the first door is at 7 p.m. So Friday, 7th of April, come on down to Cabra Bowls and you can win yourself some Easter eggs. You're not a chocolate eater, are you, Bailey? Not at all. Not at all. Oh, nice. I'm about to say, more chocolate for me. I reckon I'll uh, put in a few dollars in that raffle. That nice time of year with Easter. Catch a bit of family, a few of the Easter eggs, and uh, body language looks good. Some pace for more than anything, but great attempt by, by Murphs. And she'll tick away with another shot on the board.
impressive and Carmen. We want to measure this stage very close. making the switch. a bit of weight or tries to draw the shot here. a front one miss that she could have got all three there come on can she fatten up this count body language looks good That will be a massive score line. George Jamison putting his fingers up for four. That's a massive count. Anderson now leading 11 11 9. Another change up. 3 4 scored in the game. Players, players task a little bit more difficult, but uh, can't have another great start.
coming. Really hit, hitting the straps now. Close to three. Big bolt required from from Kazer here. Very close. Carmen asked the question, Mr. Jamison, two to Carmen. Again, as you probably hear in the microphone, but uh, even stuff blowing on the green. Just take it, take a time, take a moment, just to get yourself ready. Looks like it'll be another two, two shots to Carmen Anderson. Just waiting for confirmation. Yep. Getting out to that uh, four shot lead. And I know Bailey had his promotion before, but I think I've this is the one I really want to want to get involved with. The old win a car. So for any any ten dollars you spend at Cavramatta, you go on a draw to win the big beast there. So and unfortunately, my luck's not good with raffles. But uh, you know, if you want to try your luck, you know, spend ten bucks, go into the draw to win the fabulous car. So another great option from the Cabra Bowls group.
good in bowls here. I think it looks like two to, to Karen at the moment. Should be pretty happy with that. Three good bowls in, in the area. Hitting the line pretty well, square on perfect. done enough there nonetheless though a great shot from Carmen and Mark and I'll give him much away there Mr George Jamison To, to the Karen Murphy. Thirteen eleven. Now if you're just joining us here at Cabramatta, this is the final of the ladies major singles. Uh, green running a good 17 seconds and we'll be up to 25 up today.
Jamison, our marker. He's calling it Wonder Kaz. This is a big chance to, to double this up and even that score up to 13 all. Obviously, with Carmen still with one left in her uh, in her bag, but uh, very good from the little bravi Casasaurus. And it will be two. Carmen with the big one. Stalking it now. And yep, and it will be one of Carmen with a massive draw shot to get herself out of that, out of that one. Absolutely a fantastic bowl. Continuing that lead now, 14-11 to Carmen. So if you do like what you see, guys, make sure to share it to your mates, like the post, uh, so everyone can enjoy watching this uh, this final. sort of start but Kaz holding one at the moment just with that bit of breeze coming up at this stage here in the microphone it's uh, making it a little bit more difficult for the players but a beautiful surface running pretty close to 17 17 seconds
bit disappointed with that. Looks like with a looks like two at, at this stage. We can see there's a, that wind coming across, blowing some stuff onto it as well. There it is again. Carry moving to really maximise on this this end. Be. And confirmation from our marker be three to Murphy. So as it is quite warm out there, just going for a little, little hydrate, little break. Grabbing some water, so it won't be a moment. If you don't already know the great Karen Murphy, every achievement in the book, an absolute superstar of our game, 668 appearances for Australia. That's just massive. And also Carmen, one of our superstars from North Folk Island, representing their country. One, one of a few gold medals at any time, one of the most successful female bowlers, absolutely outstanding. Absolutely fantastic shot, absolute nails the jack. Karen Murphy, 
one shot. danger good chance to improve on a good work there very close to landing it It'll be interesting to see where the car plays a bit of weight at this got a nice couple of back bowls awaiting Strong that breeze is just holding that ball out. Confirmation one to Karen Murphy. She now takes a lead. 15 14. Tempo rise now with Karen. Just that first bowl right on the jack. Always a massive part of your singles game to get that, that first bowl passed or or very close. She was a little bit disappointed with that one, but uh, it's calm a little opportunity here.
I'll be pretty happy with that. So it splits two of them up. Gives her a couple of options. opportunity with Carmen here with a couple of seconds not far away but just the we just the one of Karen Obviously a big shout out to our volunteers today. George Jemison doing the marking and Arthur Peasley doing our scoreboard attending today. Always appreciated with all of our all of our volunteers and the hard work they do behind the scenes. But uh, and, uh, thank you thank you gentlemen for giving your time up today to, to mark the final. Again, we see Karen with that opening bowl. Just ever so important in a game of singles to get it get it up there in a good place, and she's she's really put the uh, the pressure on these last few ends, nailed it nice and early, and given herself a really good opportunity to to capitalise with a few shot scores. Beautiful response from Carmen. Don't know whether they confirmed, but it might have been a resting touch of that one.
Just be a little bit careful. Oh. See what she's trying to do there, trail the jack for a big and score, but just a fraction on the high. Very, very good attempt though. It's uh, one to measure to Carmen. Confirmation the one to Carmen, 16.15. Just a massive arm wrestle at the moment. No one's being able to get away from each other. Match pretty close to T to T, so change of tactic from from Carmen. As you see, started starting a little bit of a build up of the Cabramatta members and a couple from other clubs as well on the right. Doing a nice fierce contest in, the, in this final. And Karen Murphy looks pretty good to that. That probably showing you how good, good the green's running 
nice 17 seconds, good turn. So you can be tricky with the wind, but beautiful conditions with the green. back to the tape again we'll see how good our, uh, our markers eyes are here I believe you did call it uh, the one or was it just in the shade there well it might be, might be two and it is going to be two so one to measure is now two. That's a massive end in the scheme you now, just tailing away.
has it's gone with a similar sort of length as Carmen, sort of again three quarters to long, not quite T to T. As you see with the breeze coming up now, it's getting a little bit tricky for the players. A little bit loose on this end, but uh, I'm not too sure who's going to have the shot here. Will be one to Carmen. Another change of tactic here from Carmen, going with the pretty close to minimum, maybe just over minimum now to 23, 24 metres. Nice change of tactic. And starting on very strong with that first bowl.
big end in the scheme of the game. Could be possible, could be a possibility to three there. Okay, I'm just trying to get a bit of coverage, but uh, probably not quite far enough. But uh, Karen just asking our, our marker, George Jemison, is it three? Two on a measure, very close. She's she's down on one knee. Well, if nothing else, it's one down at the worst. Very good shot by Kaz. Yep, good confirmation. One to Anderson. Similar tactic, sort of around that medium sort of position. Might have got 24, 25 metres. Let's stick with that short sort of tactic. Shots here, starting off. Fraction unlucky there. I think she might have uh, given that one away. Jumping on that two down is a call from George Jemison, our marker. Just take 
the time, Cameron. I think we'll be seeing a bit of weight. Try to get both bowls here. She's very close. Carmen Anderson with the goods. Uh, a good shot, but a uh, very good result in the end too. Staying in there for, for the shot, but uh, certainly hit a target. But uh, a maximum with the result on that one. So two down to three up here. Karen Murphy to respond to respond to this one. Fraction quick. So what a massive end that's turned out to be. And it will be three shots to Carmen Anderson with a, a massive conversion. Uh, a super good result, but again though, hit what she wanted to to hit and uh, Uh, number out of that one. Down for an hour and 45 minutes. These two have been competing on the green. Very high quality game so far. Feels like we've still got a few, a few big ins left in this game to decide a winner. But with Carmen, the massive change of tactic, we're going a bit shorter. Again, around 20, 24 metres. on and I won't just stop there today we've got our major single semi-finals coming to action at six o'clock tonight so if you'd like to tune in and get yourself to the Cabin Matter Bowling Club if you look happy hour might be around at uh, about five o'clock 5 30 so jump on board that uh, but a couple of good games mr ben wallathorpe Bo Prado, uh, playing each other in carl healy jackaroo and michael fasalo uh, it's gonna be a cracking night of bowls comes again and Carmen holding three massive end in the scheme of the game here Carmen to add, add a fourth here. She's 
she's looking very good very good approach four shots will be to Carmen with one bowl to play Karen Murphy what has she got in the tank and sends just looking, looks she's just pacing the hook this will be a full count for the Carmen and it will be four shots to Carmen Anderson so she played a big in last end and uh, up again with four shots within reach of the title of the Cabramatta Club Lady Singles winner. similar length fraction fraction longer 25 26 Very, be, very well be the match winner there. Nice start from, from Carmen. Prediction from John Glennie. Murphs to win 25-24. Well, nothing's ever outreach, out of reach with Kaz. All of, all of experience and uh, wealth of knowledge. And but again, first two bowls short. Just got a little bit of work here to do. Calm to really, really put the really put the pressure on. Just touch your bowl, make it near impossible. with weight she's very close past that we'll need to change it did get a maximum result but uh, had to change the head she's done that so she will lie one shot to Karen what 
quad shot, Carmen plays, got three seconds of the head. Bowl all jack. Or she tries to draw it. So I think it's a running shot, try to get it. She's on the run. It's a very good approach to the jack. Just got stuck. Weight was probably good enough to win that. Done a lot of good things right. Two to Karen Murphy. Certainly expect a change in tactic. Don't think she'll be rolling that same length again of Carmen's. comes well it's an okay start a couple shots to Karen but I don't think that will be that will be good enough the way Carmen's been drawing but uh, just got to hold the shot sometimes at the moment it's to put the pressure back on uh, Carmen Very close, no one's asked any questions down there. I don't think she's got the pace. So potentially, I think Carm will be having a look at this, see who's got the, the shot of the head.
fantastic long bowl by Carmen. It's definitely the shot. Not an easy one to get out of, really. Probably about a foot short of the jack. Whether she goes a bit bigger for, for the kill or draw the shot. And it's away. And that'll do it. The Cabramatta Club Ladies Champion, Carmen Anderson. What a sensational game of bowls between two legends of the game, two international players. Perfect conditions, a little bit of wind, but perfect greens. But uh, thank you all for tuning in today. Thanks to our markers, our umpires. Uh, we'll be back later on with some more coverage of the men's singles at six o'clock. So certainly tune in. But well done, Carmen Anderson, on a great, great victory. I'm Disco. I'll see you next time.